are the things we need. All right, well, obviously you need the ornaments. And I picked these up at the dollar store. It's plastic, clear ornaments. They come in a big size and a small size. Small size, you get two for a dollar. So even more cost effective. Okay, and then you need some plastic or paper cups. Scissors are optional, you don't really need those, but you might. Um, and then you have your paints. Okay, so I have a pearl acrylics here. And there's a gold acrylic. A glittered. And there's metallic. Now these are all really nice and metallic. I use I like to use these, but um, you can use just your regular everyday old gloss, you know, acrylic paint. Okay, these are very cheap. You can get these for like a dollar or two at Walmart or other craft stores. Okay, also here I have some um, marbles, and then uh, here's a Mardi Gras necklace that I have cut apart to make individual like marbles. Um, if you get these ornaments and you get the glass ones um, from like Michael's and other places, you're probably going to want to go with these instead of a marble because um, this glass inside glasses is probably going to break. Um, I have some assorted sizes there and I'll get into that in a little bit, okay? Okay, so let's just show you how we got our layer in the back here. I'm going to go with green. And I think I'm going to go ahead and like just put some on the rim in there. Let's kind of just see you see, kind of, see it coming down the edge. Okay. So um, let's go ahead and use a marble. So you just drop the marble down there. Now let's use two marbles. Why not? So and it's just, it's just experimenting with, you know, what you're... And how you put it in there and what happens if I do this or what happens if I do that because that's kind of how I stumbled upon this so I was making these and I was like I wonder what happened if I put marble in and I actually didn't have a marble so I had leftover Halloween candy eyeballs from Halloween that I've been using which is hilarious but it worked and and the foil wrapping gave it a really nice gives it a nice, nice texture Especially if you're using glass, don't put marbles in here and do what I'm doing because you just, it will explode. Dump my marbles out. See how we got this really beautiful, beautiful pattern in there. So, let me let that one dry. Okay, and. Okay, so we've got this one. Let's put something darker in there. How about a. Metallic red. Christmas colors. Uh, if you get paint and it's goobering up like that, get that booger in there. I mean, it it give, makes something to smack against the edges, you know, to give you a pattern. Everything can give you a pattern is totally worth it. Okay, so let's see. Now it's just with that little bit of shake in there. But if I continue, keep doing that, and twisting it as I do it, you can see I've almost got the whole ball, right? See? Very nice. See? Beautiful, right? So I would probably let this dry before I put in my, another color. You can layer as many colors as you want. You can stick your hand inside there until it, it they take a while to dry, especially the plastic ones. Still, you can continue on if you want. Yeah, just using a straw, get some paint in there, try and do something funky with it.
Okay, like I said, less is more. Do some layers. Um, you can see I put quite a bit in here and pretty thick, and this is going to take a, probably a day to dry before I can put another color of paint in there. Um, but you know, if you patience, because if you can wait it out, this will this will be gorgeous. Problem is, most people don't want to wait it out, and it ends up getting all marbly together, and then you're like, eh, you don't really like it. So, to not ruin yours, of course, if you do, you ruin a dollar fifty. I'm sure you can handle it. Okay, so let's put some. And hot pink over here somewhere. Okay, hot pink. Okay, put some hot pink in here. Okay, now just a couple of shakes. Shake it like two times. Let's shake it a couple more. Right, so see, every time I do that, it changes the dynamic. So I like smack it, maybe turn it, smack it, turn it upside down so that paint goes to the bottom. If you really want, do this or put it on the table and smack the table a few times. It'll come down into the bottom. Um, but I think I really like this just this way, and then I'll probably let it dry and put maybe one more color in there. Probably something, okay, because I went with a darker, a lighter, I'll probably go something darker in the back, like maybe a metallic black or a deep purple or hot rod red or something along those lines. Okay. Okay, so now let's just say we're all done. We want to finish off, right? Okay, so take your ornament. This little jammy thing. Okay. Best thing to do is squeeze these together. I usually put one side into the ornament and then push this one into it. I have to use my own hooks. 